3D bioprinting is a mind-boggling technology that emerged in the 21st century. The idea of lab-grown tissues could mean the end of testing drugs on animals and humans, and it could be the solution for organ shortages, ending the desperate state of organ donations worldwide. This is Bertalo Meshko, and you're watching the channel of the Medical Future. We are getting closer to print living tissue such as blood vessels, bones or skin. It was in the early 21st century when researchers discovered that the nozzles of inkjet printers could spray out living cells without damaging them. However, it's not enough to have the cells themselves, they need a nurturing environment to stay alive – food, water and oxygen. Nowadays, microgills, enriched with vitamins, proteins and other life-sustaining compounds, provide these conditions. In 2014, Organovo announced the first successful printing of liver tissue and it functioned as a real liver for weeks. A year later, functional human kidney tissues were generated with a 3D bioprinter. Organovo also teamed up with L'Oreal to advance the development of synthetic skin. The company's first bioprinted products are expected to make it to the FDA in 2019. Bioprinting could also mean an effective way to test pharmaceuticals. Clinical trials today are lengthy and expensive, but with bioprinted tissues, new products could be assessed and brought to market more quickly, all without harming test subjects. The surgical challenges with using bioprinted tissues are technological ones. If you can overcome those hurdles, then the engineered tissue can function just as well as the original one. It's possible that uh, one day your surgeon will ship your tissue sample or stem cells or just DNA data to a bioprinting company and a few days later the organ tissue you need will arrive in a sterile container via FedEx ready for implantation. But it will take many years of research till we get there. So the current state of bioprinting is about being able to accurately and safely print out tissues, not entire organs. That still sounds a bit like science fiction. Currently, the most burning issue is the question of regulation, as an up-to-date, comprehensive set of rules for bioprinting has not yet been drafted. That might be very dangerous. The black market for printed organs might thrive the most if regulations are not sufficiently strict and precise. As soon as scaffolds are available and methods are open source, people around the world might be tempted to start printing unregulated and untested biomaterials and sell them to desperate people. Why the FDA reaffirmed the agency's commitment to a new era of 3D printing of medical products in 2017, they have not yet introduced their guidance for bioprinting and we cannot do anything else but to urge them to do so as soon as possible. 